So this is my Halloween costume. I love this wig, but it has absolutely no form to it at all. So I have to keep holding my hair back so that I can see. Um, but I was gonna say that although I dress up for Halloween every year, I feel like this time around, it looks a bit more like a cosplay. And I don't know if you know this, but I used to cosplay a lot when I was in high school and university. And like not even, not even low key. Like I'm talking handmade pieces for anime conventions and flying across the country to go to them. Anime North was one of my favorite places to go. It's the biggest anime convention in Canada. Um, obviously in Toronto. And I don't know, like I never think about my cosplaying days. Um, Cause to be honest, I was pretty cringy, but I'm kind of just having a nostalgic moment and I am I miss it a little bit. It was so much fun and I hung out with such cool strangers. And yes, there was some weebish energy, but it was also really cool, okay? I got to meet some voice actors from my favorite animes and video games at the time. And there were educational booths on Japanese culture and the food. You need to be cut. <laughs> Chucky is an ally now, so I got this keychain. Um, stop it. <laughs> stop. I have a queer kid. You have a kid. Gender fluid. And you're, you're cool with it. I'm not a monster, Jake. Wow, we're so attractive. <laughs> I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to show you some of my Halloween home decor, starting with my floating scissors. Words cannot express how happy they make me. I think it looks cool as fuck. We also have this plaid pumpkin and little rat boy right beside. Low key, I'm trying to have a skeleton farm, so I've been collecting a lot of these. I just recently got this cute little ghost vase. Um, obviously I thrifted it because it's pretty scratched up, but I like them. I love them. Um, there's this little, little teeny owl. Little owl. We have, um, <laughs> yep, little pumpkins right beneath our Lord and Savior. This is always a fun one um, <laughs> when I'm washing my face. On the kitchen table, we have this sugar skull crocheted pumpkin my coworker gave me last year and my pal from Trick or Treat. He's like really big. Here's me in comparison. I don't mean to expose myself here, but we have a chaos corner that I will show you. This is what our wall looks like leading down to the basement. We have dust off that neon spandex, her, Jesus money, a furry <laughs> thing, Lil Nas X's mugshot, this woman, we call her friend Henry. I will not explain this, <laughs> Elf on the Shelf. And a devil feeling delicious. There are obviously other decorations in my house, but that would be a long ass video. The goal for the future is to become one of those people who has so many Halloween decorations that their house is practically a haunted one in October. You know, the one that gives out the best candies, has like projection screens and screaming people everywhere. I want it to be 
insanity. In due time though, I have to wait like several years and have so much more money. This will not be in the video.